Excuse the mess, gentlemen, and excuse me, YouTube. That ain't a copyright strike in the background. I'm actually watching a YouTube video from someone, a follow, a fellow subscriber. Uh, it's a guy called Arcade Docs, I believe. Well, I'm not going back into the living room to turn that off, to turn this on, so... Don't delete the audio of this video, please. Anyways, this is for Ben Aubrey again. Uh, I've had this a while. I'm having to work on it as and when I can. Because, as you know, my back ain't great. Uh, this one's actually a very nice board. He bought a ceramic processor for this. Which is very lovely. You can see if I compare this to this... Ooh. Right up in there. If I compare this to this Hitachi one, which works as well. It's got a bent pin at the minute, but it works fine. Come on, focus. There we go. That's something I'll talk about at a later date. You can get different types of 68,000 processor to work on these boards. Yeah, if you compare that to that Hitachi one, plastic's all right. A ceramic one's bloody lovely. I like this. It's paid a small fortune for that, I think. Anyway, this is the System 5 board he sent me up. He got it fairly clean off, I think it, it was a barn find or a garage find or something. And it looked clean, as I, I say, looked clean. Uh, you can see the kind of pile of things that I've had off it. Uh, give you a clue what was wrong. But anyway... It ended up being corrosion under the sockets. And the CPU socket was okay, but the two RAM sockets were stuffed. And I took the box socket off for the CF cell, and uh, the pins were green underneath. There was, there was a uh, there was a dodgy corrosion farm growing underneath this. It's just a, I can't. People get these boards and they think, oh, the chip looks all right, the socket looks fine on top, so yeah, it must be fine. But then, no, 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 it certainly isn't. Uh, you get one of these boards, you have to change that socket. You must change it. There, there's no getting away from it. There's a couple of things I've replaced. I've replaced this thing here. It's a 74. Oh, God's sake. I just, I'm still getting used to this on and off. Try again. That's better. It's a 74 LS139. It should be an HC139 that's in there, but I, I got... LS-139 is an error, but they still work fine. Uh, I would also recommend at a later date you... I'm talking to Ben here, you change this chip, this chip and this chip, but your friend can do that. I've still got this chip in here to change, but... Uh, I haven't got to do with anything connected, but... Uh, the focus in this camera is terrible today. It's almost as bad as my back is today. Uh, if we power it up... That's the reset light in the background there. It goes off. Boom. Can you see it? We have ignition. Now, as I said, I haven't connected the... You can turn the brightness down this, can you? Sorry, gentlemen. There we go. I haven't connected the reels up or the sound or anything because it's late at night, she, uh, the, everybody's asleep. I'm talking louder than I should connect this late at night, but as you can see, she boots. So just a bit of clean up to do now and one or two other parts to replace and hopefully this board will be living in a System 5 machine coming to you soon. So that's just a quick video. It should reset actually, see if I can do this. Yeah. Yep, reset's working so everything's responding. So that'd be that one. Wow. Story so far with this one. I'll probably well connect up the rules at a later date, but or I might just send it out. I mean, if it's working to this point, the rules are gonna work because the rules are driven directly off the CF cell. And the lamps are driven off the processor via some other parts. So, yeah, usually if it doesn't boot, or sorry, if it boots, then the rest of it's going to work because it's all interlinked. I mean, if I get a chance, I will connect the reels up, but yeah. As you can see, she's alive. All right, bye bye for now.